Hi everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about removing the veneer off of an old piece of furniture. Sometimes you come across pieces like this that the veneer is just way too damaged to try to repair or fix and it's a better idea just to take it off completely. So I am gonna show you everything that I did to remove this veneer off the top and the sides of this dresser. So if you wanna learn how to do this on a project of your own, just keep watching. If you're new here, I am a furniture painter and refinisher, and what that means is I'm normally taking things from around my home or things that I find on the cheap and I'm making them over into new creations. If you're interested in learning more about furniture painting and refinishing, please consider subscribing before you leave. If you wanna learn more about me, you can always follow me on Instagram and go check out my website, prettydistress.com to see some more of my work. So this is the piece I'm gonna be working with today. Uh, my dad actually has a friend who's a picker, so he goes into old houses and tries to salvage things or see what he can sell. And this thing was in really rough shape, so he tried to donate it, and it actually was in such bad shape that Goodwill and Salvation Army and places like that wouldn't take it. And so my dad called me up and said, hey, are you interested in turning this into something? And I said, free, you know, why not? I just knew from the moment that I laid eyes on it that this veneer was actually gonna have to go. It was just way far beyond repairing it and patching it up and I've seen people take veneer off and it have beautiful wood underneath so I decided to give it a go and I even got some tips from my subscribers on how to get all of this veneer off so let me zoom you in and we'll get started the items I'm going to use to remove this veneer today are this metal putty knife that's nice and thin so I can get underneath that veneer. I also have a plastic one just to help remove some of the bigger pieces so I'm not gouging the wood too much. You're also going to need an iron. If you're worried about ruining yours, I would just pick one up from Goodwill or something. This is mine and I'm using it because I don't really use my iron. I use a steamer a lot. You're either going to need a water bottle or a water bottle spray function on your iron. You're going to use this to keep your towel wet. So you also need a towel that you're not worried about getting ruined. Um, I have a bucket just to catch all my scraps in and I'm going to be using my orbital sander once I'm all finished. You can definitely hand sand it, but an orbital sander is going to make that process go a lot faster. You also need to protect yourself, so you will need eyewear when removing the veneer as well as sanding, and I'm also gonna be using my respirator when I am sanding just to keep all that dust out of my lungs, and it's fitted with my particle filters. And you're also gonna need some work gloves. These are just gardening gloves, and I will show you in a second why these are so important. Veneers are thin slices of real wood glued to a substrate, which could be solid wood, plywood, particle board. A heavier piece of furniture usually indicates that there's solid wood under there, and the older it is, the more likely that it is to have solid wood. So I thought I would just give it a go and remove this veneer and see if there was something worth finishing beneath. And if it turns out that there's not, I can always just prime it, even if it is MDF, prime it and paint it. Okay, watch closely. Oh, I just popped my finger with the veneer. It doesn't look that bad, but guess what? It started gushing blood. So this is why you need to wear gloves. And I know you can't see it because my face is out of the shot, but I am wearing goggles because these chips can just fly up in your eyes and really hurt your eyes as well. So make sure you're wearing eye protection too. Okay, so now that the safety lecture is out of the way, all I'm doing since this veneer was already pulled away a lot from the top of the dresser is I'm just kind of sticking that putty knife under there and prying up the loose pieces and then just going along the grain and it was pulling off in really big chunks. So this was making me very excited thinking like, oh, this is gonna be a super easy process. This is all just gonna peel off really easily. This was my first trouble spot that I had. No matter what angle I went at it with that putty knife, I couldn't get under that, underneath that veneer. And it's most likely because there was a lot of glue in that spot. So at this point, I grabbed my towel that I mentioned earlier, dampen that, wring it out as much as you can so that it's just really damp and take a very extremely hot iron and place it on top and it'll start steaming and kind of loosening up that glue and veneer underneath. And it's not a science. As you can see, I got some chunks off, but then it was still sticking. So my advice there is just to go back with that towel and a back uh, with the heat from the iron and see if that'll loosen it up some more. As you iron the towel, it will dry out. So use that spray bottle or spray function on your iron to keep wetting it as you're going along. 
And this is really where I hit my stride. I felt like I had it figured out. I got this whole top stripped probably in under an hour. And I was like, yes, let's move on to the sides and get this thing done. The sides are the whole reason that I decided to chip all the veneer off because they were in such rough shape. I thought this was gonna peel off super easy. Well, the bottom part did. <laughs> The top was just completely stuck on there and I kept using the iron and doing the same technique that I used on the top, but it was taking forever, you guys. This is like eight hours worth of work here over multiple days. Um, I finally got one side to unstick, but this that you're looking at right here is the last side and this last corner, it was just glued on so well, I couldn't get it off. It was just coming off in little tiny chunks. It was driving me crazy. I took a day away, then I came back with the orbital sander just to try to kind of completely strip through the veneer. You really wanna make sure it's dry before you start sanding it like this because it'll gunk up your sander or your sandpaper. Um, so with this technique, I was just trying to, to sand through the veneer and then I was kind of making gouges in it and chipping under and this was working a little bit, but again, I gave up pretty quickly on this because it was just taking so much effort and I was thinking this is never gonna get all this off. I'm making a little bit of progress, but it's not enough. And I always show behind the scenes on my Instagram stories, so that's a good reason to be following me. But I had a follower named Elizabeth say, hey, I've had really good luck with putting a wet towel on really stuck on veneer for a day, maybe even two days. It completely wets the veneer, and when you come back, it'll just pull off on sheets. And I thought, hey, you know, I'm going to try it. So I did, and it pulled off in complete sheets. I was so happy. Um, I told Elizabeth I was going to give her a shout out in this video because she literally saved my life and saved this project. So after it completely dried out, you can go back and sand the entire piece just to get any little bits of glue or stuck on um, veneer that maybe didn't chip off just residual stuff off. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's completely dry. So I think I let it set for a day um, and sanded it the next day. So my surface is all prepared. Um, here's what it looks like. It's very clean. I think I'm gonna try to stain it. I'm not quite sure yet, but I finally got the veneer off. You guys, this took like over 12 hours to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that was a long process. Do not be scared. I don't think you're always gonna run into these issues with removing veneer. It could be really easy like it was on the top or it could be really hard like it happened to me on the side. So at least you know going into it, could go one of two ways. I'm still really excited that I did this and I can't wait to see where this piece goes. I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do with it. So make sure that you're subscribed because um, whenever I figure that out, I will make a video and I will post it on here. As always, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want any details on the products that I use today, check out that description box. All of them are linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or you can leave me any questions that you have in the comment section and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.